Life in Kalongo was very, very busy. Looking at his daily timetable, a simple glance at Father Giuseppe's daily schedule shows how much physical effort he had to make, both in operating table at the theater and in the outpatient clinic. Usually, he begins with the most difficult and demanding operations, partial gastrectomy, minor ones, deletion and scraping of the uterus, surgical interventions for lepers, and much more. His surgeries range from bronchial asthma, sometimes very delicate and risky, to restore normal or better breathing, to orthopedics with sweaty operations to ensure a faster recovery, to the ones to close tropical ulcers, up to the removal of cataracts, a technique he learned with hours spent in Italian operating theatres, instead of enjoying his well-deserved holidays. He does not even stop in front of the pulmonary abscesses, very delicate operations, gynecological operations, and plastic surgery. He works unsparingly not only as a surgeon, but also as the director of the structure and teacher in the nursing school. He is able to stay at the operating table for six hours in a row, always standing, and then move to the clinic without showing the slightest weariness. Then, with an impressive calm, if called for emergencies, he always returns to the operating room with great naturalness and simplicity. Within a few years, people ended up calling Father Giuseppe a Joachim Adit, the great physician, or Dr. Ladit, the great doctor. The qualification of great is surprising. The Africans who did not miss anything of a person's attitudes see him working in silence and humility. Two qualities that are not typical of those who occupy an important role or have uncommon academic gifts. Dr. Reverend Palmiro Donini comes also to play a role in his life. Medical personnel is essential for the proper functioning of the hospital or for any hospital. For all the years he spent in Kalongo, Dr. Ambrosoli will be searching for doctors for his hospital. Fundamental for Kalongo has been Dr. Don Palmiro Donini. In Donini's life, there was a profound link between his vocation of faith and the mission to which, at a certain point, he felt strongly called, as if putting his profession as a doctor at the service of others was the logical, inevitable an application of the gospel, just as it was for Dr. Ambrosoli. He had graduated in medicine in 1944 in Parma, then specializing in dentistry at the University of Bologna. But instead of embarking on the adventure of a dental office, he took the path of the seminary, becoming a priest in 1954. He responded enthusiastically to a call from Bishop Giovanni Battista, Cesana Bishop of Gulu in northern Uganda, to go and help Father Guiseipe. Don Palmiro arrived in Kalongo in 1963 after a course in English. The official language in Uganda and following an internship in tropical disease at the University of Genoa. He immediately realized that people's problems were not the teeth but leprosy, childhood diseases, the raids of the Karimojong shepherds, and the rule of traditional healers, sorcerers, who had an easy grip on people. After a year of specialization, Don Donini dedicated himself to the treatment of leprosy, becoming a great expert, especially in ocular identification. He wrote some high quality scientific works on leprosy, also holding specialized training courses that made him famous in Europe. I used to travel, especially in the remote villages of the five districts of the north, he said, to identify and treat the sick, to bring medicine, to prescribe the necessary 
prophylaxis. Above all, I was studying to increase my knowledge of disease and achieve the positive results that are now possible with the new drugs. In Kalongo, Dr. Donini, a shy and reserved man for 20 years, will be of father, Guisepe, as well as a friend and dear brother, an indispensable help as an internist, dentist and leprosy experts. In a short time, the Fidei Donum priest from Brescia became the right hand man of the surgeon Ambrosoli. Also because in him, Father Guisepe finally found the safe and stable presence that guaranteed continuity, so important in every enterprise, something that con contract doctors or volunteers who alternated in Kalongo could not give him. The two doctors shared out the work. Father Guisepe was in charge of the surgery, the emergencies, and the dispensary. Don Palmiro was in charge of the pediatrics and medicine wards. The two doctor priests will accomplish in tandem wonders without ever forgetting that if man cures, only God heals. We'll continue from there next time. Oh, no.